What's that up ahead? Looks like a gray wall. That's the outer atmosphere of Saturn, buddy. It's ten times denser than the air around the Earth. your speed to one half. If we do, they'll get away from us. Don't worry about that. They'll either have to slow down or go up and smoke. Those are retarding rockets. If we enter that atmosphere at this rate of speed, the pressure will burn us to a crisp. Look, they smashed the rockets. I can't fire them. in the oxygen tanks. If they explode, we'll be torn to atoms. Buddy, take the controls. The portholes are giving way, Black. That's no use. The heat is melted at the valve heads. So move, buddy. Back to the gravity belts. We'll have to bail out. Buddy, open the airlock. That's no use. The heat's jammed the door. Stand back, woman. Desolate looking place. Not a sign of life anywhere. Spaceship Squadron 74 calling Earth, calling the leader. Spaceship Squadron 74 calling Earth, calling the leader. Spaceship Squadron 74 calling Earth, calling the leader. This is the leader. The hidden city spaceship just blew up in the outer atmosphere of Saturn. No survivors? There couldn't be, sir. How high off Saturn are you? 50,000 feet. Follow the wreck down and be sure they're all dead. Yes, sir. Stand by the retarding rockets. Signal the other ship that we're going down. Yes, sir. This traveling around from Earth to Saturn's all right, if you're sure of a way home. Well, we could at least talk to home. Will you set up that portable radio, buddy? Yeah. Lieutenant Deering calling the scientist general of Earth. Lieutenant Deering calling the scientist general of Earth. Air control headquarters of the hidden city. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. Give me the scientist general at once, please. Wilma, this is Dr. Hewer. Are you safe, all of you? So far, yes. Our outer atmosphere patrol reported two of Killer Kane's spaceships took off after you. They did, and shot down our ship, but we got away without the gravity belts. Well, if all of Saturn is like this, you can have it. Right. Rex over that way. Tell the men on the other ship to stand guard. Saturnians have spaceships. If so, we'll try to bring a peace mission back to Earth with us. A good idea. Now keep in touch with me. If you get into difficulties, we'll do anything in our power to bring you back. Very good, Dr. Hewer. I'll sign off now. I can't see how they got away from that wrecked ship. But they won't get away from this. Wait. We'll take them alive and force the secret of the hidden city from them. Let's attack them from both sides. Circle around them. Buck, 
I just saw one of Killer Kane's men go behind those rocks. Are you sure? Positive. They must have landed their ship and are following to capture us. Maybe we can beat them at their own game. Follow me. Don't let them guess we know they're trailing us. Black. Nice going, buddy. Done like a major. How many of you on the loose around here? How many? There were four of us. Four, huh? Wilma. Wilma, keep him covered. Come on, on your feet, sir. Come along, buddy. We've got a date for another surprise party. Nothing else you can do, woman. All right, then. Let's get them back to the spaceship. Patton, check the rockets on the other ship. Do not move. Any of them. Drop your weapons. You are from the Earth, are you not? Why, yes, we came here to make a treaty. It would be useless to explain to me. I am only a soldier acting under orders. Two of you stay and guard the ship. The other two bring the others after me. You have nothing to fear from the Zugs. They are a primitive race and quite harmless. 
unless we instruct them to be otherwise. This way. in, sir. I am Alda, director of the Council of the Wives. I have had you brought here to explain your presence on Saturn. You may speak. We came here as envoys. Seeking an alliance with you people of Saturn. And why do you desire such an alliance? To escape the tyranny of a man called Killer Cain, who has imposed his rule on all but a handful of us. A man who governs by brute force. That's not true. The leader Kane is a just man. He rules with the consent of all save a few revolutionaries. Revolutionaries? Is it true that you are revolutionaries? In a sense, I suppose we are. If it's revolutionary to protest against brutality. I have had enough. Rebels or not, I say throw them all into prison. Saturn wants no contact with outside planets. But in this age of science, we cannot hope to isolate ourselves from the rest of the universe. But we are dedicated to peace and have no patience with rebels. Then why not form an alliance with our government and help us stamp out this rebellion? The point is well made. We'll imprison the revolutionaries and treat with the envoys of the leader Cain. Then I jump tail and run for the sliding panel. But we can't escape the guards. We'll have to try. Throw the others in prison. One wrong move from any of you. You'll need a new council of the wise. Seize him! Somebody's got the power. There's no way out of here either. Say, Buck, I saw Tally use a force gun on Alaska. I don't suppose there's enough power to move this car. I don't know. We'll soon find out. We'll come over here. That's going to work, buddy. It was a good idea. How can we follow them with the power cut off? This is my private car, and it has an auxiliary motor. Spaceships are over there. What about those awful Zug guards? Take care of them with this gun. Inside. We'll take the ship with the door open. Stand where you are, I'll fire. 
Buck, don't, don't you? I don't think he understands you. Buck, you've killed him. No, no, it was only a demi charge. Just knocked him out. Hurry, get back to the ship. Take the controls, Buck. I'll fire the starting rocket. All right, dog down the door, buddy. See if all the portholes are closed. We'll do better than that. Could you take this ship up alone? I don't have to take it up. This radio and the one on their ship are tuned sympathetically. By setting this radio, I can automatically control their course and force them to crack up. Increase your rocket pressure, Wilma. We're losing altitude. But I'm using enough now to take us to 100,000 feet. The climbing fin is jammed. They're bringing us down from the other ship. That's a dual radio control. No crashes unless we can break their reception. Get back. Go here, buddy. Close call. So I'd be glad to get back to Earth. Uh, that's right where you're going, buddy. Wilma and Rogers must prevail on the Saturnians to lend them a spaceship to return to Earth. That's no Saturnian craft, Doctor. It's one of Killer Kane's spaceships. Well, impossible. I know that type of ship too well to be mistaken. Have you tried to contact them on our wavelength? As a matter of fact, I haven't. Well, we must do so at once. There's a spaceship at 274.6. Contact at once on our wavelength. Yes, sir. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. Buck, I guess we'll be landing pretty soon, won't we? That's right. I wish the radio was working so we could contact Dr. Hugh. Well, that isn't necessary. I know the secret entrance to the hidden city. We'd better start using our retarding pressure. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. I'm sorry, sir, there's no contact. That proves it, Doctor. It is a cane ship. But I can't understand. There's only one answer, Doctor. Wilmer Rogers must have betrayed the secret entrance to the city. There's the signal to open the gates. What shall I do, sir? Open them and stand by to close them at my command. Yes, sir. They got our signal. They're in the lock now, sir. Close the gates on them and put all the power of the dynamos behind them. The gate is jammed! 